Hello, it is Coach Becky with your Friday Fit Tip. I'm sitting all comfy in my chair because this week and next, I'm answering your questions or your fitness challenges and frustrations. And what I got when I put this on my own Facebook page to ask, what do you need help with? I got a lot of people, actually several people, talking about how stiff they feel from sitting so much. Interestingly, one was a software engineer, y'all tend to sit a lot, and tax accountants. You guys are busy right now and you're sitting a lot. So this is for you guys. Now, I much prefer that you get the heck up out of your chair and do these mobility drills against a wall. But because we're talking about what to do and how to move when we're stiff from sitting, I'm not even gonna make you get up, even though I hope you will. So here we go. We want to reverse what happens when we sit. We're forward flexed, our arms are in front, we're getting tight chest muscles, our head's coming forward and our spine's kind of curved forward. So I'm gonna to talk today about some upper body mobility and stretches you can do while you sit, or better yet, while you stand, off to the side of your chair. Next Friday I'll be back and we'll talk about lower body work. So today, first thing we're gonna do is open up that chest. We're gonna bring the arms up and we're gonna slide the elbows down. I'm bringing my elbows down behind the plane of my rib cage, okay, behind my back. Do four, five, six of those, and then you're gonna move on to rotation. We're getting a feeling of stiffness. We need to move in a way that we probably don't do when we're sitting like this all day. So we're just gonna, if we have armrests, we're gonna grab onto an armrest. If we don't, we can reach as if we wanted to touch the back of our chair. I'm standing tall, or sitting tall, and I'm just rotating trying to touch the back of my chair. Next up, I'm going to take a, a hand and put it down below my chair. My other hand's gonna come, opposite hand's gonna come up on top of my head. I'm gonna depress that shoulder and gently pull on my head. Why? When you sit at your computer, we tend to bunch up here. We get a lot of tension in that upper back. This is what's gonna help alleviate it. Okay, so obviously we do both sides. Next up, I wanna have you sit up taller open up through that trunk, bringing one arm up, drop it behind your head. You're gonna pull here to get a nice stretch through the back of the arm and you're also gonna lean slightly. And then you'll switch sides. Now you can do these little mobility drills and stretches as many times as you like, but literally that took me less than two minutes to show you. And even if you added a few more repetitions on all of those exercises, you're gonna be less than three minutes invested, and I think it's worth your time to do this once every other hour to feel better at the end of your nine or 10 hour day. Last drill we can do, I forgot about one. A lot of people in my industry call this the no money drill, because it looks like you're going, eh, I got no money. Put your elbows right there in your ribs, your palms are up like you're holding a platter, and you're just gonna take those hands away. What that's doing is it's opening up the chest, and it's moving the shoulder blades in toward each other when they are spending a lot of time away from each other when you're at your computer. So those are my five mobility drills and movement for the upper body for those of you who sit too much. Keep in mind, it can all be done at a wall right next to your desk. Your wall slides here, your, your little rotations here, you still can do this guy, right? You can do the upper, upper back right in through here. You can do it all standing. I'd much rather you take two or three minutes every hour or every other hour, every three hours, and get those stretches done standing because we all need to move and get the blood flowing a little bit. When I come back next week, I'll show you the lower body mobility that you can do if you sit too much for work. It will make you feel great if you do this literally just a couple minutes, several times a day. So this is for you guys, you software engineers and tax accountants, that, Little sequence of five exercises, I guarantee, will make you feel better at the end of your day. This is Coach Becky with your Friday Fit Tip. Make it a great day.